What's up guys, it's Josh from California through my lens.com. I'm here with my friend Kirby and we're hiking White Mountain Peak outside of Bishop. White Mountain is technically the easiest California 14er, but don't let that fool you, it's still a tough hike at high elevation. The hike begins with a drive up Highway 395 past Mount Whitney and into the town of Big Pine. I recommend grabbing food at Copper Top Barbecue if you're there when it's open. From there, you head up to the ancient Bristlecone Forest, gaining about 6,000 feet before you hit the dirt road that'll take you to White Mountain. Depending on the season, the road is technically passable without four-wheel drive, but I would not recommend it without a high-clearance car as it's 16 miles of washboard. When you reach the locked gate, you'll be at the trailhead for White Mountain, which features a bathroom and primitive campsites. I recommend sleeping here the night before as it helps you to get used to the altitude and you're around 11,500 feet. We hung out and waited for the sun to go down, took a few night sky pictures, and then went to bed. The sun came up at about 5.30, so we got up, packed up the campsite, and had breakfast before setting out. It is 6.30 a.m. We are leaving the tent city of the trailhead behind, seven miles to the summit. The trail starts easy enough with about two miles of gradual incline to make it to the research station. White Mountain, that way. We made it to the Barcroft Research Station at 12,400 feet, about two miles into the trail. There's some animals in the pen back there. The trail goes around this way though. This facility belongs to the University of California and as you can see there's even animals up here that I think they're doing some high altitude testing or something like that on. So it says road closed but that is just for vehicular traffic. Hikers are good. The section from the research facility up to the little observatory tower they have up here, it's pretty steep. This is where you start feeling the elevation. Right after we came over that hill, we got our first view of White Mountain. Still looks pretty far away. Taking a short water break, we are about 4.3 miles in right now. Last mile and a half has been pretty uneventful, just a gradual grade on a dirt road, but the steep part's coming. Here's the trail that we were at. There's a sign way out in the middle of nowhere. White Mountain Wilderness. There's the uh, observatory thing way back there. You can see the switchbacks that we're going up. And there's the summit highway up there. Note that you have to go downhill before you can go up again, which is one of the worst things to see when you're at 13,000 feet. This part's just a slog. 6.2 miles in, 13,300 feet. Just one foot in front of the other, gradual switch back to the summit. That summit high is so close, yet it's still so far. It is mid-July and there's still snow. Almost there. There's Kirby. 
There's the summit. Kirby's first 14er. Yeah, baby. Three and a half hours made it to the summit of White Mountain, 14,252 feet, the third tallest mountain in California. Epic views. Thanks for hiking with Kirby and I at the top of White Mountain Peak, seven miles back to the car. You can read all about this adventure on CaliforniaThroughMyLens.com.